member for Memory Cook Centre Mar. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm rising today to respond to the ministerial statement on pharmacists and, and common ailments. And, uh, and I do want to, to start by uh, recognizing the work that pharmacists do in our communities and thanking them. Um, they are sometimes the, the closest uh, health care worker um, that people can access in their community. And it's so valuable, the work that they do. Um, and and I, I know that um, it's really important that their scope of practice, um, that they're able to work at their full scope of practice, I guess is what I want to say. Um, because they, they have that training. We need healthcare workers uh, to be able to, to provide care in our communities. And, and I appreciate them stepping up to do so. Um, and I know that they stepped up throughout the pandemic as well to, to provide a lot of care. Um, and so I want to thank specifically in my community, we have pharmacists from all the way from Port Elgin to Sackville to Memram Cook. So thank you, uh, merci uh, à tous ces, uh, ces pharmaciens là. Um, and I want to speak to the issue of scope of practice. It's really important that healthcare workers in New Brunswick are able to, um, to work at their full scope of practice. And there are other healthcare workers that um, would really benefit and by extension um, patients would benefit by, by being able to get care from them. And I'm thinking of nurse practitioners in particular. There needs to be a model where nurse practitioners have uh, options and are able to provide care and work at their full scope of practice, um, not just within the, the RHAs. And then midwives, um, they, their scope of practice should be extended and they should be able to practice. They can. Uh, not only provide perinatal care, but also sexual health care. So thank you to all the health care workers, and in particular, the pharma um, pharmacists. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.